Well, well, well. Huh. My team, the Jamaica Scorpions, seems to be the beating stick this year. The defending champions. Yes, my viewers and subscribers cannot buy a win from anywhere. It was the Guyana Harpy Eagles that got the better of the Scorpions yesterday evening. And in that, you know, the Guyana Harpy Eagles were able to qualify for the semi-finals of the Super 50 2023. So I'm going to talk a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go into the scorecard. So in case you didn't see the game yesterday evening or you haven't gotten a chance to hear the scoreline, I will go through the scorecard so you guys can hear everything that has been said. Um, well, everything that happened. And, uh, you know, you can, you can get an idea of the players that were really, um, that really stood out in that game. Talking about defending champions at the World Cup, England, they have been eliminated. Yes, my people, they lost again yesterday and that's it for their campaign, you can say. They, they are out. So we're going to take a look at what the captain had to say and we're also going to look at the numbers in that game that they played against Australia. So just give a listening ear, my people. Let me know what you all think in the comment section for this one. All right. So kicking off things with the Guyana Harpy Eagles versus uh, the Jamaica Scorpions game that was played um, yesterday, you know, in the, finishing up in the evening. The Guyana Harpy Eagles, they were able to secure a victory. And I want to say congratulations to them. I want to say shout out to the players for really um, stepping up and getting their team over the line, getting their team qualified for the semi-final. Couple of guys um, really stood out. Shimran Hitmeyer, we haven't seen much of him in this tournament. You know, he was able to uh, play well in yesterday's game, getting a half century. And, you know, in getting that half century alongside Tejner and Shandopal, they were able to secure a victory. So they won that game by seven wickets. And it was by the Duckworth Lewis system. So the Jamaica Scorpions batted first. And, um, you know, they got, what, 181 of 46.5 overs, right? I think they were given 45, 47 overs, so 181 of 46.5 overs. And the Guyana Amazon Warriors, the Warriors, <laughs> the Guyana Harpy Eagles, they actually made 184 of, 40, of 39 overs out of their 47 overs. Right, so let me just go into the scorecard itself so you can hear how the players, um, indiv each individual player would have done. So for the Jamaica Scorpions batting, at the top there, Chadwick Walton getting 26 from 45. Kirk McKenzie once again find, finding the going tough, made 2 of 16. Enkruma Banner who made a 70 yard in the last game, he made 20 of 34. Andre McCarty made 23 of 31. Ravman Powell, the captain, he made 34 of 44. And, uh, well, 33 of 44. Brad Barnes made 36. Javier Royal, Dennis Bulai, they both failed to trouble the score. Odin Smith made 20 of 25. Sheldon Parnell, um, well, Parnell, he made um, 13 not out. Garden was removed without scoring. So, the Guyana Harpy Eagles, they're getting um, the, 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 the Scorpions. Now, bowling for the Harpy Eagles, a uh, couple of guys picked up wickets. Niall Smith, he picked up 3 for 26 from 8.5 overs. Sheffield Rutherford, 2 for 38 from 9 overs. Goody Kishmoti didn't get any wickets in this game, but he was um, economical, 9 overs for 28 runs. Versamer Pramal, he picked up 2 for 38 from his 10 overs. And we would have seen Kevin Sinclair getting 3 for 48 of his 10 overs. So those were the bowlers that really um, that did the business there for the Guyana Harpy Eagles. Now, batting for the Eagles, as I said, a couple of guys got half centuries. You know, Tejner and Shandopal getting 77 of 110 deliveries with 8 fours. Very good to see um, Shandopal getting some runs under his belt. Kevin Sinclair made 7. Tevin Imlak made 30 of 57. Sherman Hitmeyer was left not out on 62 of 53. 
with five fours and two sixes while Rutherford was left not out and two having faced two deliveries. The wickets um, for the Scorpions, Parnell picked up two for 26 from his six overs and we would have also seen Andre McCarthy picking up one for 35 of his 10 overs as the Scorpions were defeated by seven wickets. And as I said, it was the Duckworth Lewis system. So that is how that game there went. Once again, shout out to the Guyana Harpy Eagles. Shout out to the players. Shout out to their fans. We know, you know, they have some diehearted fans that are always tuning in. So big up to them. All right. From one defending champion to another. England, my people. England, 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 England. I tell you. Um, so they lost again yesterday. This time it was actually um, Australia that did the damage. So Australia won that game by 33 runs. Australia batted first and made 286 of 49.3 overs. England, they were bowled out for 253 in 48.1 overs. So, you know, England, they're um, getting, getting a nice little whip, whooping. So the captain, Josh Butler, said this, and I quote, we have let ourselves down. We have let down the. We have let um, people down at home, who support us through thick and thin, and we wear that on our shoulders. All right. So let us. Let, that is what he said. So let us see after the end of this um, if he's still going to be there as their white ball captain. We know that you know he's a successful white ball player good a white ball captain also but with such a horrible world cup um failure let us see how they will react because i remember i mean they were the defending champions going in so not the same thing as west Indies, but i remember the last couple of world cup um when we failed to to, to really do anything you know people were behaving as if the the the, the captain and the coach should not be held accountable and as I said, you can't even look at it like, like, like really like that because these guys would have won um, recently. But let us let us see. Let us see. I World up this bad. Let us see how it is going to go. And then, um, you know, we can pull back on when West Indies uh, did poor in the last, in, in the last other two T20 World Cup. The ones that we qualify, qualified for. Remembering that we had good teams also. Our quote-unquote good teams. And you, you would have heard how people behave saying that, you know, the, the, the captain and the coach should stay. So let us see what the outcry will be and then we can um, compare and contrast and say, well, this is what they are doing or this is what we did. So we could look upon that, my people. Anyways, let me just give you a quick overview of that game. So in that game, as I said, Australia won there by 33 runs after scoring 286 and England 253. So a couple of guys that performed with the bat for Australia. Uh, Marnus Lamashade made 71 of 83. Steve Smith made 44. Cameron Green made 47. Stoinis made uh, 35. And bowling for England, uh, Chris Wokes picked up four wickets. Uh, Adil Rashid got two and David Willey picked up one. Now in terms of England going in for the chase, a couple of people getting half centuries. David Mellon getting 50. Ben Stokes getting 64, uh, Moen Ali getting 42, and we would have seen Chris Wokes getting 32. Now, bowling for the Australia, Adam Zappa once again was amongst the wicket. His 10 over, overs cost him only 21 runs, and he picked up three wickets. Pat Cummins, Hazelwood, and Mitchell Stark, they all picked up two wickets apiece, and Marcus Stoinis picked up one. So, that is how that game went. So we're going to leave it right there for now, my people. Hope you guys enjoyed that little talk. I will be in the comment section to see what you all have to say. Big up.